Hi, it's Carrie. Lots of Indian animals here. Today I'm going to do the orange basket. I can see lots of crocodiles. Give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Let's get started. I'm gathering up my Indian leopard family. The Indian leopard is one of five big cats that make their home in India. The others are the Asiatic lion, Bengal tiger, snow leopard and clouded leopard. Like all leopards, the Indian leopard is covered with dark spots which are called rosettes because they look like flowers. These rosettes are like fingerprints. Each Indian leopard has a unique pattern of rosettes. The rosettes on the Indian leopard are larger than those on other leopards. The fur of the Indian leopards varies from yellowish brown to reddish brown and even greyish brown depending on where they live. They have rather small ears and yellowish grey eyes. Male Indian leopards are larger than the females and often a little over 4 feet in length. They have very long tails which can be up to 3 feet or 1 metre long. Indian leopards are solitary predators. That means that each leopard hunts for its food by itself. They usually stay hidden at night. I'm choosing the snakes next. I've chosen these boa constrictors because they look much like Russell's viper, which is a venomous old world viper. Its name means lurker or the one that lies hidden. The Russell's viper is also known by several other common names like Deboya, chain viper, Indian Russell's viper, common Russell's viper, chain snake, scissor snake and seven pacer. Whatever you do, keep a long way from it. The Russell's viper is a member of the big four snakes of India and it's also the snake species responsible for the most snake bite incidents and deaths among all venomous snakes. The Indian crocodiles. They share an ancient relation with India. They are depicted along with many Hindu gods and goddesses in sculpture and painting. In the prehistoric period, there were seven species in India. The number has now decreased to three primary species. The mugger or marsh crocodile is found in lakes and rivers throughout the country. The saltwater crocodile is found along the eastern coast of India and the gharial is found in river areas although it is greatly reduced in numbers. The mugger crocodile is India's most common species. They are not as long as the saltwater crocodiles. Their average size is about 13 to 14 feet. The saltwater crocodile is found in the eastern states. The largest specimen was found in Odisha and reached 7 metres which is 23 feet. Saltwater crocodiles live in the mangroves, swamplands and riverways. The largest gharial found in the wilderness was a specimen which measured 19 and a half feet which is 5.9 metres. It was found in the river Goa. They are now only found in India. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. Crocodiles are carnivores and hunt fish, birds, frogs and crustaceans and human beings. They live in tropical areas because they are cold blooded. When their snouts are shut they look like they are grinning with a fourth tooth on each side of the lower jaw sticking up over the upper lip. Can you tell me which is the longest crocodile? The saltwater crocodile or the mugger? Biologists have found in a study of all 23 living crocodilian species that crocodiles can kill with the strongest bite force measured for any living animals. The study also revealed 
that the bite forces of the largest extinct crocodilians exceeded 23,000 pounds, a force two times greater than the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. The yak is a herding animal found in the mountainous regions of Central Asia. A herd may have 10 yaks to 100 yaks, most of which are female. There are only a few male yaks in each herd. There is a large domestic population of yak, but only a few wild yak remaining. The yak is still used for pulling heavy farm machinery and for transporting goods through the mountains. This is a dromedary camel. It has a single hump. The hump contains fatty tissue reserves, which can be converted to water or energy when required. They can survive up to six months without food or water by using these fatty stores. Camels are well suited to the hot sandy deserts they roam in. Their thick coat insulates them from heat and also lightens during the summer to reflect heat. A camel's long legs keep its body away from the hot desert surface and a pad of thick tissue called a pedestal raises the body slightly when the camel sits so cool air can pass underneath. Long eyelashes, ear hair and closable nostrils keep sand from affecting the camel while their white feet help them move without sinking into the sand. Here's trouble. Thank you for watching my video. It really helps if you can share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.